Hood Outlaws and Legends has gone into early access, so today we're taking a look at the perks for Robin the Ranger. Got a couple of games under my belt, you know, player level 8, rank 3, we're, get, we're getting there, still pretty uh, pretty fresh, pretty green, but uh, starting to get a handle on things. Uh, the perks list for some of these characters is pretty interesting, and Robin is no exception. So you can see for the first slot here, we have three total options. The first is XP bonus for killing objective carriers. So you shoot the chest bearer, you get a little bit of bonus XP for that. Capture points are claimed faster, and climbing is faster. Always nice. But extracting the chest is slower, and I have put that to the test in. He cranks that winch like he's a 90-year-old lady. Uh, no lie, that one's, that one's kind of painful. Up next is Volatile Gourd, which is increased gear capacity and the inflicted effect is active for longer that's robin's flashbang carry more of them make it a little more effective and then focused flight which i talked about in our gameplay trailer long shot kills with standard arrows fill the ability meter quicker based on range that's fun i'm a big fan of that one second uh tier here scavenger assassinating thing gives you more ammo then Bodkin Point, charged arrows have increased speed and range, but will break on impact. That's going to be an interesting uh, bit, though, because I found in most gameplay, uh, about 90% of the arrows I'm firing are charged, if not fully charged, because quick shot arrows uh, really don't do a whole lot of damage. All you're doing is pissing people off with those. Uh, PvP, maybe, but against the state especially, that's really just a waste of your ammunition. Razor Gauntlets, Robin's melee attacks do more damage. Ammo is reduced if your melee attack hits or blocks. He stabs him with an arrow and breaks it off. That may be a pretty effective melee skill. Tactical Quiver, starting ammo and total capacity increased, but arrows break upon impact. So you get more ammo, but there's no recovering it. That I'm curious to see in action, and I think it's going to depend on how much more ammo you get. If you don't know, you get seven shots with uh, Robin right out the gates as a, as a starting point. Uh, you know, if that goes up to 12, 14 maybe, if you, you know, if a girl can dream, that might be worth it. If we're talking 9, uh, maybe not. And Broadhead, which is definitely one I have my eye on. Arrows will not break and have increased damage when charged, so that's definitely going to favor a sort of long-distance charge shot sniper. Weapon accuracy on short range is hindered a little bit, and your quickfire shots deal less damage. But again, quickfire is not something I've personally been getting a whole lot of mileage out of. In the third tier... Forceful Fighter. Melee attacks are better and cost less stamina, but you get less ammo to start with and your total ammo capacity has dropped a little bit. Robin's melee leaves a little to be desired. He, he really is kind of uh, less melee attack and more sensual massage. It, uh, it, it's not his job. If, if you're fighting things hand to hand, uh, you, you, you're probably done goofed and you shouldn't be doing that. Elemental Arrow. Ability Arrow explodes after a shorter duration, so if you fire his big explosive arrow, it's going to pop a little bit quicker. That could be exceedingly handy because uh, right out the uh, the beginning there, that arrow has got a bit of a timer on it, and and that's uh, hasn't been the greatest thing in the world in the few games I played a couple of times. I, I found myself wishing it would go off a little faster. And last but not least, Mercurial Arrow ability arrows explode on impact, but range is reduced. That could be useful. It could also be terrible if you miss. The charge on Robin's uh, ultimate there doesn't generate too terribly fast it's it's it certainly doesn't seem to be as fast as what the hunter is getting so you want to be pretty selective with how you're using those explosive arrows and having one just you know wing off into nowhere uh could be really painful that could be a game changer and cost you a match so i think if you wanted to go this route you need to make sure that you're being very careful with how you're spending those rounds in general i think it's a pretty creative build list i think there's going to be a lot of options there and a lot of opportunities for people to explore with different synergies, different combinations, to really fit your playstyle. Now, I won't lie, I'm hoping that list gets expanded. I hope it gets pushed out for all the characters uh, the further on down the road we get. You know, there's already some stuff in the various uh, shops for clothing and cosmetic weapons and everything that talk about being player character 85. So clearly there's a lot of growth built into the way these characters level up. And I would like to see more options come down the line because I think... A list like that, even playing sort of semi-hardcore, it's not going to be too hard to finish the perk list off within, you know, maybe a week or two. So hopefully uh, we see some DLC come down the road, some expansion, something. 
that pushes that out. But I think as a starting point, we're going to have a lot of great options, a lot of great flexibility, and we're really going to see some build diversity uh, over the initial few weeks. We've got the, uh, the other guys lining up their videos as well for the other three jobs, and we will get those out to you as soon as possible. As always, we appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye.